citizens, stay inside the compound. In the above world, there is only death and devastation. Monty Hughes, a genius, you know. Design this whole place. Completely mad, of course, but a genius nonetheless. The first line of the Understone defense system has been activated. Advance at your own risk. Warning! The second line of the Understone defense system has been activated. Prepare for high levels of pain.
Deploy the Colin. I don't know who you are, stranger, but if you are hearing this message, then I, Montague Humes, must be dead. You have proven yourself to be a most capable individual. I believe you can do what I no longer can. Take charge of Understone and its citizens. This machine can be adjusted to play any messages you wish, and the citizens below have been conditioned to obey them. some miracle, the above world recovers from the devastation, the machine can be shut down from within this room. Doing so will open a passage to the above world, and the citizens will be free to return to the sunlight. So, this is what the old loon was up to. Oh, this is my lucky day! Oh, oh. hello again, friend. <laughs> Look. Forgive me for not being completely honest before, but I had no idea there would be a whole city down here. I expected treasures, inventions, but not this. Think of the business opportunities. A whole town devoted to work, doing whatever you tell them, never questioning you, never demanding payment. Leave the machine running, and we can share the profits. <laughs> we'll be rolling in gold without having to lift a finger. What do you say? Citizens of Understone, rejoice. The world above is now safe. Everything is going to be all right. Is it really true? The surface is safe. I can't believe it. After all this time, we can leave Understone. Just think, we'll be able to see the stars for the first time ever. Our time of hardship is over. Return to the surface. Return to the skies and the trees and the light. Help rebuild our new world. I never thought I'd live to see this day, to see sunlight. Good one. We're safe down here. That's all I know. Yay! Hey, hey! If you're not too...
not bad looking, you know. I like the that. way you look. Think what well, light it now rains down flattering Bella took over under stone. I don't know how people can stand direct sunlight. Yeah, nice! Good one! Woohoo! I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place being closed down. And I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. But you think you're the only one who has problems? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh... Look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go. To I hope you're not looking for somewhere to stay. Soon, this anyway. place is about to close. For good. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiancé back. I tried to work up the courage to rescue her. Damn that ferret and his gang! They've got everyone living in fear, even me! But if I had you with me, you could go in there and show them what fear really is. We could rescue my fiancé, put ferret out of business, and I could keep the shelter open. Please, if not for me, do it for the poor people who depend on this place. Oh, thank you. My poor love. It's been agony being apart from her. And it's about time those thugs faced justice. The rough kind. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks. But now this is outrageous. I know where they are. They demanded I bring them the ransom in a week's time. But I'll bring them something better. Laszlo! You just cost me a bit of gold, mate. I bet old Harry would take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, he's the bagman. And that gold doesn't leave his hands until my fiancé's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. Oh, Laszlo. I cannot tell you how elated I am to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with his burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiancé from whatever filthy corner you're keeping her in, or my associate is going to start collecting heads and piling them upon the table. My initial judgment of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart after all. Lads, tear it out. We're all... 
You should have scarfed it when you had the chance. Your men are dead, Ferric. Unless you want to join them, let us in. Gunpowder is the most destructive tool ever devised by man. It has forever changed the face of warfare allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no effort. Scholars have begun to speculate. Could this formidable development destroy the concept of chivalry? Perhaps even that of mercy? Only time will tell, and this troubling debate has only just begun. Also, gunpowder is used in fireworks to celebrate various occasions. And if you light off even a quite small one in your hand, it'll hurt very, very badly. I cannot overstate how unthinkably horrible the pain is. You brought this on yourself, Ferry. This didn't have to happen. Well, it still doesn't. We merely got off on the wrong foot. I'm no threat to you without my men, and I'm only too happy to return your fiance. I can be quite accommodating. Get on with it, then. Well, the thing is, she's actually not on the premises exactly at the uh, present time. She's incarcerated within a nearby facility, shall we say. That access hatch will provide you with, well, access. The sewer? <laughs> you fellas are a sophisticated lot. Please, go and get her. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. A gun. I really did mischaracterize you. Yeah, well, I live in a bad neighborhood. I wonder whose fault that is. Now don't move. Who are you? Where's my fiancé? He sent me to rescue you. Are you qualified? I'm not sure I should just follow some complete stranger.
Thank you. Those things are ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> 